Let's assume I help you out. Yes? What kind of special tasks would you have for me? Special tasks? Why would you figure that I need someone who can do more than just the usual? Because I see what's going on here. <laughs> Is it that obvious that we have some problems here in Goliath? Yes, it's apparent. I have to admit I underestimated you. At least you're observant. But it also takes guts to confront me. So you really want to help us out? Yes. There are many things to be done. Our people are dedicated, but we still have supply shortages. Food, medicine, machine parts, and other equipment. There are too few cultivators in the fields. Speak to the people here, and they can tell you where your skills are best used. Earn their trust, and you may earn mine. And if you're planning to join us, then I will have a very special task for you. A lot of people come to me, looking to join us, to climb the ranks. You look like you have ambition. If you earn my trust, you'll go far here. You said something about a special job if I want to join you. Correct. Then listen well. You must have sensed it out there, that things are changing, that something is happening. If we are going to survive and prosper, if we're to stand a chance against the Alves, I need to know what's going on there. That's where you come in. I need information about the other factions. Any information would be useful, but if you could bring me a report from the port in Tavar, that would be very useful. So, be it the outlaws, a trip to the Dome City in Abessa, or a word from the clerics in Ignodon, I need information. Bring me a report from at least two cities. That's a lot to ask. You know your way around the wastelands. You've survived out there. So you have the skills I need. Plus, you aren't one of us, so you can blend in better with the other people. So if you want to join us, get going. The journey will have dangers, but if you stick to the path, you should reach the other cities alive. So, what will it be? Will you prove yourself? Impress me, and you will earn not just a lexit, but favor, promotion, honor. We don't trust the secrets of our magic to just anyone. If you want such rewards, you need to earn them. You shouldn't rely on machines. Hello. If you want to rest, you should find yourself a spot and relax. And if you are hungry, we can surely find you something to eat. Thank you. Welcome. I hope you have been shown kindness here. To foreigners, it may seem that we only live in a manner that is in accordance with the law. But we have a place for any wanderers and lost souls who are ready to swear off their old lives. So, wherever you came from, your help is welcome. What's the point in us seeking to rebuild the world if we continue fighting? We need to build one world, together. I hope you can see that. What is this building? 
A rare relic of the old world, hey? If you want, go up to one of the higher balconies and have a look at the view. You will get an idea how beautiful it must have been here before the comet struck. It seems the people of the old world understood the value of that even back before the Great Fall. Why do you build these huts then? This place might be a good choice for defense, but it doesn't exactly connect us with nature. We all need to be rooted in the natural world. We all need to remember our place in it. You, me, all the people here, we are all part of Magalan. How long have you been with the Berserkers? I was born here, and I can't imagine a better place. What's so good about it? As Eisenfaust said, of all the places and all the people in Magalan, the planet chose us to give magic to. And Eisenfaust wasn't exactly known for his poetic side. With respect for all his great feats, he was a bit of a miserable bastard, to be honest. We have organized our lives around the essential things of life. You do not need everything you think you need. I could get used to life here. Good, good. I would wish that for you. You will find safety here and purpose. Ragnar will help you find your place. He can sound severe, I know, but there are pressures on him, and he wants the best for us. How did Ragnar become warlord? Hard work, dedication, and popularity. Tell me the real story. Do you mean, is there a deep, dark secret? A tale of rivalry and assassination to rise to the top? No, I'm afraid it's a tale of skill, ability, and dedication. He was named Berserker when he was a teen. Served his time in the fields as a cultivator. He was seen defending the seedlings from mutants and was named Warrior on the spot. When he was a child, Ragnar met Eisenfaust, and I think that left its mark. He wanted to be that man, and he is, just with more of a sense of humor. In their hour of need, the Berserkers call for another Eisenfaust, and in Ragnar, I believe they have him. Tell me about Ragnar. Ragnar the Fierce? Ragnar, son of Bajar? He is warlord of the Hooded Crows. Warlord, warrior, leader, and my husband. You're married? Why would I marry someone whose expression is that of thunder over the mountains? That is when he is carrying the weight of his clan. Then he is a warlord. I married the man. Is there something you need doing here? There are always things that need doing here. And helping out will gain you notice for promotion. Of course, for the highest ranks, we must all look to the warlords to be promoted. Ask in Goliath, and you'll find tasks to match your skills. But uh, there is one thing I need help with. Though, I warn you, it could be dangerous. What sort of dangerous? The regular kind. If you've come from beyond the walls, it won't be anything new to you. Our scouts reported that a few clerics were recently attacked by mutants. Let's just say that despite all their technology, the clerics came off worse. But the weapons they left behind, lying about out there, are a problem. They could cause a great deal of damage in the wrong hands. I want you to collect them and take them to Yora. You'll find him at the pits. He and the workers there make sure such technology is made safe. I will find the weapons. Thank you. The sooner we can put them into the right hands, the better. Elex, mutants, technology. We have a long way to go to save Magalan. Where should I look for these weapons? The patrol reported that some animals chased the clerics into a set of ruins. None of the clerics came out again. 
Sadly, that means I am certain they were killed there. If that's the case, then their weapons will still be there, in the ruins to the northwest. You can recognize them by the river that bisects them. Reach them, and bring the weapons back to Goliath. I hear you. What are you doing here? Yeah, don't Get do that go. again.
goods have you got? Sure. Watch it there. Uh, I hate it when people mess with my stuff. You think the armor in this place makes itself? Well, you wouldn't be the only one, but let me tell you, it's not true. Damned hard work makes it. My damned hard work. So don't get in my way. Can I get some of this armor? I am only authorized to hand out equipment to anyone who has earned it. A cultivator isn't allowed to wear the armor of a paladin. That armor goes with that rank and that honor. So, if you want a set of it, you'll have to work to earn it. What's so good about the armor you supply? Quality, skill, years of practice technique. And as you go up through the ranks, you're eligible for different equipment. As a cultivator, you'll be confronted with different challenges to a warrior or a paladin. So for cultivator armor, I make sure to give you the freedom of movement needed for working in the fields. But a warrior's armor must be robust, better able to absorb damage during combat.
They will get the shock of their life tomorrow, those assholes. Then we'll see who has to crawl around in the dirt. After sundown, we'll be the new lords around here. We make the calls. It's their own fault for treating us like dirt. So let's meet above at the lift. Uncultivated cultivators cultivate laws. No. Uncultivated cultivators cultivate lawfully cultivated cultivations. <laughs> That's it in the... Wait, wait, what? What the hell is that? Shit. They're attacking. Get up. Get up. Get up, everyone. Mm-hmm. <gasps> 